<laughs> Shadow boxing. What is it? Can I do it at home? Is it good for a workout? How do I do it? These are some of the questions I've been getting on Instagram about shadow boxing. And on this video, I'm about to answer them all. Shadow boxing is something that all boxers do for a few reasons. One, it's a great extension of the warm up, warming up the specific muscles you're about to use for that session. Two, it's great for fighters to visualize their opponents. Three, it's great for working on bad habits. If you've got bad habits, like dropping your hands, it's great for that. And four, it's a great, great workout. So, let's get started. When shadow boxing, you've got to concentrate about having good form all the time. Hands up high in that boxing stance position. And when you're throwing the punches, you've got to throw them realistic, as if something is in front of your head. You want to throw it there. With shadow boxing, form and technique is super important. You always want to be working on trying to perfect your form getting good habits. And if you've never shadow boxed before, it can feel pretty awkward punching fresh air. But that's what you're going to do. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes. You want to get in your boxing stance with your hands up, having a perfect boxing stance all the time. You can work on a number of things with this. Footwork, stance position, hands up, punches, combinations, defense. You can work on everything with shadow boxing. So pick one or two things you want to work on and focus on that. Here's one example. I'm going to concentrate on good footwork and defense. So my hands are up high. I'm moving, moving, and I'm defending. Moving, defending. Move backwards and forwards. Working on defense. Another example, I'm going to work on punches and defense. So I'm going to throw punches and then I'm going to defend after every punch or combination. Next one I'm going to show you is fainting, then attacking. So I'm going to faint and then attack. In boxing, you would faint to get your opponent to either cover up or to throw a punch. And then once he's done that, then you would attack. So I'm here. Fainting, faint, moving, moving, faint, then attack. Faint, then attack. Next one is going to be a three punch combination and then move your feet. I want a different combination every time. So when you're doing this, it's great to work your mind because you've got to think about it. So a different combination every time, three punches. And now with that, you can do two punches, four punches, five punches, Six punches, a different combination every time. Next one I'm going to show you is high intensity. This one is going to get your heart beating, going to really give you a great workout. So with this, you want to punch as fast as you can, moving your feet as fast as you can, staying relaxed all the time. <laughs> Woo. Just a couple of minutes of that, and that's really going to get your heart beating fast. It's a great way to work out. But like anything, start slow, get comfortable, and then you can speed it up to that intensity. Perfect practice makes perfect. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel where I upload boxing education videos, fight breakdowns, everything boxing. So please hit that subscribe button and you'll enjoy the content that I'm putting out there. Thank you for watching.